It's exactly 6.30 in the morning. I'm gonna try not to wake up my wife and kids upstairs. So uh, someone asked me recently to make a video on how I motorized my hand grinders, my manual grinders. Basically how I, I'm able to connect a, um, you know, a drill to motorize it. And uh, I first wanna say, share why I wanted to do this. And it's because when I travel alone, I usually, actually I always bring my coffee kit. And hand grinding for one person, maybe twice a day, it's like this. It's not, it's not terrible. But when you travel with a lot of people and you're expected to make many cups of coffee per day, um, honestly, that's not something you want to do all day and for long parts of the day. So what I saw on YouTube is um, many people just take a regular grill, excuse me, a regular drill, and you see this part here where you could dial it down and clamp it down. Basically, they would make it work on any top like this and then, you know, dial it down. And you could basically make that work almost on any grinder, but I think it's going to strip and I don't know how long that's going to last. So there's, uh, I guess, better ways to do it. And I am going to share uh, two ways that I figured it out. Okay, so the easiest way is there's a website called shapeways.com, which is a 3D printing company uh, right near where I live in Long Island City, Queens. That's where the company is. And I ordered this piece, which is called the Coffee Grinder Bit for Drill Driver CDPL. It was $20.50. And the specific model I got, um, literally it's called recessed part for fixing to a quick change quarter inch hex chucks, which basically means it's going to connect to this quarter inch electric screwdriver. And this one was made for the Hario Coffee Mill Slim Grinder Mini, and it lists other brands and models that it'll fit. And it comes in the mail, this little piece, and you put it on top, and then I, I drilled with it a few times. I don't think this is going to come off. If, if I did take a wrench and pull it off, it'll probably strip it or damage some parts. So once you put it on, it's probably not going to come off. Uh, the second way I did it was this model, the Hario Skirt and Hand Grinder. Um, as I showed you before, you unscrew the top. And this is a, the annoying part of this is every time you want to put in coffee beans, you got to unscrew the top. And um, I put in 15 grams, for, which is roughly enough for one mug for me. And what they tell you to do is, on the websites, is to get this hex nut and washers, uh, the size is M6. I guess that's six millimeters. And uh, some people say you have to go to an auto uh, parts supplier to get metric size, uh, but my uh, hardware stores near me had a section for metric. So what I did is I, I put two washers and uh, it's really simple. Just put this screw on and then it gets a little more complex you need this piece, which I ordered on Amazon. Uh, it, this is literally called the the 10 millimeter magnetic nut setter set quarter inch shank. And what that means is this piece, the 10 millimeter, wraps around this six millimeter nut, and the quarter inch part goes into your quarter inch um, electric drill or electric screwdriver. And um, another thing I did is I got this little uh, ratcheting offset screwdriver bit set. That's literally what it's called. Just in case there's equipment failure, uh, you can uh, basically 
connect one end onto here if I could figure this out. Oh, you know what? I'm going to show you that later. I'll miss. Oh, there, there it is. So you could connect it there, connect it here, get this on. Honestly, I think this motion, instead of going all around, I think this motion is actually much easier to, to um, grind the beans manually. So that being said, here's where I ran into some trouble. Many of the websites said that an eight volt electric screwdriver has enough power to do, to do this. But what I found, I actually bought an eight volt and the only way that works is if you go top speed uh, without stopping. Otherwise the motor, it struggles, it, 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 it just poops out, it bonks. And then you just really have to go full speed and that's not good for the beans and that's not good for um, the grinder and everything. And so then I returned that, I got a 12 volt thinking that was plenty, plenty of power. Honestly, that wasn't enough power either. And finally, it's a little big and heavy and the battery is kind of gigantic, but this was on sale for half price. Uh, I got this for $99 with two batteries and a charger. And um, this 18 volt seems to be powerful enough. I mean, I guess more power, the better. Uh, this one had variable speed and I put it on the lowest speed, but even that, uh, you, you don't want to go too fast. So uh, each of these hand grinders has 15 grams, which for me is enough for one mug. So this morning I'm going to make two mugs and I'm going to show you. I'll start with this one. How long it takes. There we go. I mean, I don't want to go too fast, so okay, that's all done, and you could see the beans in here. And now I will show you this one. Excuse me. Here we go. I think that's on. This one's louder. Feels, feels harder. Oh, it's not as loud off the table. <laughs> Almost all the beans are in. Whew. And there we go. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye bye.